think about this technology to be useful to you, sir. Thank you, sir. First of all, good evening, everyone, and thank you to the three experts, Dominic Saab, Srinivasan Ji, and Om Sikh Krishna Ji, who have given very wonderful presentation. And uh, to be very frank, uh, you were, when I was going through your presentation, it forced me to think about the future substation network. And in the future, there won't be any Rajeshura in the substation, there will be wrong. And after five years, six years down the line, in my substation, it will be full of drones and robots who will be doing the maintenance on my behalf. Wonderful presentation, mind blowing, to be very frank, very honest, because that is the need of the future, that is the need of the day. And we have to make ourselves prepare for the future technologies we have. We don't use that technology, that will be totally wrong because when you have technology available with you, you have to use it for the betterment of your system, for the growth of your system, because we are living in an era where it is difficult to afford any kind of outages in the present system. We have become so much comfortable with use of energy, it is difficult to tolerate even a single minute without energy, without electricity. And to maintain uninterrupted supply, you have to keep your assets, your critical equipments in healthy conditions. And to do that thing, the matrix available is VMS. Because finally you have to take care of the security and the safety. And when you have to use VMS system, I won't say that is not available. There are many cameras are available in my existing substation also. But these are not being used at the optimal level. Because when you have to implement VMS, that should be appropriate, adequate. Adequate means you have to install adequate number of cameras in your system based on the criticality of the equipment you have, the crucial equipment you have, outlived equipment you have, the lines you have, and that depends on the importance of that equipment in your system to maintain uninterrupted supply. Because there are three important things. One is the social responsibility. You have to maintain that supply uninterrupted. There is some regulations that is called forced by your regulator to maintain your supply, maintain the availability of your lines, your substations. But to start with, to implement the technology available, we have to start with the change in my technical specification. When I float any tender for any system, for any substation, for any AIS, for GIS, for transmission line, for augmentation, we must have provisions of VMS system in my specification. When I say specification, everything comes with a cost that has direct impact on the capex of that utility. And that must be approved by concerned regulatory commission because it has direct impact on the tariff. Okay. Now coming to requirement and challenges. Almost the, all the challenges have already been covered very well in the presentation. What I feel still the first challenge is the compatibility of existing camera with the technology, VMS technology you are going to offer. Because it is not possible to discard the already installed camera in my substations. I have to make all these existing systems compatible with the new technology you are bringing in. And important part is we have to bring everything at the center location. In any utility, there are 20, 30, 50 substations in that particular area. And all substations must be monitored at a center location 
decided by utility management and i am very impressed when you you have shown one slide where that uh, uh, horse port is being done by your camera that is thermal scanning and i am quite sure if that can be implemented i can reduce the outages by 70% because what happens in 90% cases the reason of outages are this hot spot this hot temperature which are not being monitored captured during the visual inspection by my staff and when i say safety and security test passing movement of vehicle the storage use of your bms during construction that plays very vital role apart from that when my person is going for maintenance you have a close look look on the activities carrying out during the shutdown in the substation can be monitored by vms system and with alarm system we can instruct the maintenance people please carry the pp required kindly maintain the required distance keep yourself away from the live line you have to maintain all the clearances required that is going to be wonderful use of technology so far safety and security and maintenance of on them people are concerned and i am quite sure when we start using all this technology with proper approval with proper amendment in the specification we have already and with the knowledge of top management we have to make people aware about the importance of this system for for security and safety of my complete system whether it's a ais whether it's a gis whether it's a transmission line because we are also carrying out maintenance activity on regular basis on our transmission line when you are at the ground level and person is on the top of that tower you can't see what he is doing at the top but with that technology you will be getting the complete activity being carried out by staff that maintenance person at the top of tower during the shutdown at the same time the horse port thermo vision camera use of this technology will bring my downtime to a great extent very low and i will be able as a power system person uninterrupted supply and will be able to increase my availability of system that is must as per regulations and it is going to bring a revolutionary change thank you everyone thanks a lot thank you very much namaskar uh vamshi comment on uh, dr rabada No, thank you, sir, for your uh, comments and uh, feedback and insightful additions uh, to the points that we mentioned. Uh, we were not aware that you know the the specific point that you mentioned will reduce your down downtime by seventy percent. So that means that there is definite need to focus more on that aspect of the solution because each, each solution will cater obviously to multiple uh, factors. Multiple elements will be there in the solution, uh, but I which is the one that is most important to to address first? i can tell you the main cause of failure in my system arcing you have mentioned in your slides or sport gas leakage oil leakage sometime mistakes by working staff but by doing the proper monitoring if you can avoid all these things that i mentioned definitely definitely the outages will be reduced by 70% there no doubt about it and avoiding right. 70% outages means your availability index will rise you will be able to maintain an interrupted supply and you will get even incentive as a utility right yeah, wonderful thank you. Uh, wonderful thank you sir for the uh, all the inputs it's always uh, you know pleasure uh, having long discussions with you and uh, you know <laughs> it gives us lot of inputs and then uh, you know ideas to take it forward thank you so much thank you
Thank you. Yeah, this is this gives us an opportunity to address all the transmission towers and uh, you know distribution ads in the country where drone can be one of the you know the solution to these company. So your inputs also help us to develop certain features that you know we may not have. Uh, you know we continue this uh, question answer we have.